Infratech is the industry leader in eco-friendly, versatile, and custom-designed infrared comfort heating systems. We offer a variety of mounting options, including wall mount, ceiling mount, pole mount, and flush mount. Because of its clean and seamless look, our flush mount installation option is a favorite among homeowners, interior designers, architects, and engineers. When installing our heaters, we always recommend using a licensed contractor. The flush mount frame is designed to work with either a W series or WD series heater. You can choose from two sizes, a 39 inch or 61 inch frame, which can house our heaters with wattages ranging from 2000 to 6000 watts. Before you get started, choose an area with a flat ceiling and a minimum of two inch by eight inch studs. Please be sure the heater can face straight down when you recess it and that it isn't going to be too close to a ceiling fan or light fixture. The first step is framing the pocket with one hour rated fire retardant drywall that will contain the heat. Begin by constructing a frame for the pocket that will house the heater. Use a minimum 5 8 inch drywall that is one hour fire rated, also known as type X drywall, to line the pocket. To frame a 61 inch heater, the finished opening should measure 65 and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarter inches. To frame a 39 inch heater, the finished opening should measure 43 inches by 11 and 3 quarter inches. After you've framed the pocket, the next step is to mount the junction box outside of the pocket and run the necessary wire from the power source. You can choose to mount the junction box in a variety of locations in compliance with local building codes. The Infratech flush mount frame comes with a four foot high temperature whip that includes the necessary high temperature wires and wire nuts. This will be connected from the outside junction box to the J-box of the heater. After drilling a hole into the upper half of the containment box, run the whip from the outside junction box into the pocket to be ready for the final electrical connection. If necessary, you may obtain longer length, high temperature whips from Infratech or your distributor. Infratech offers two suggestions for attaching the flush mount frame into the fire retardant pocket. One method is to drill through the internal flanges and secure it to the inside of the pocket with wood screws that are a minimum of two and a half inches. If you're not covering the frame, this method will give the frames the cleanest look. It is important to take care not to over tighten the screws, which could cause the frame to buckle. The second suggested method is to use wood screws to drill through the four inch faceplate and attach to the substructure. This works especially well if the faceplate will be covered. Once the frame is mounted, you can choose to leave all four inches of the trim exposed or cover it with a decorative ceiling. You may cover the heater's trim with materials like drywall, plaster, stucco, or tongue and groove wood. If you're using a decorative ceiling, please be sure to leave a half inch clearance between the decorative material and the ventilation holes that run along the inside of the four inch flange. Before the heater is installed, adjust the tabs to set the heater height appropriately. Each adjustable tab is an L bracket connected with a screw and wing nut. The heater rests on these adjustable tabs. You will have to lower each one and tighten it with the respective wing nut so that the heater is flush with the finished ceiling. Make your final electrical connection by attaching the whip coming from the outside junction box to the heater's J box using the supplied high temperature wire nuts. Simply lift the heater into place and make any minor adjustments. The installation is now complete you are ready to enjoy the comfort of your patio year-round. If you have questions or need additional technical support, please visit our website or contact us.